The centerpiece of Mosley's new approach is impossible object. The impossible triangle can be represented on paper, but it cannot exist in three dimensions. It is a symbol of the fact that what we think of as reality is in part fabrication. The eight stories of the novel describe relationships which seem to be impossible. Mosley's hope was that in searching for patterns on a different level, readers might experience the phenomena that he was trying to write about. Uh, I think people now know what an impossible object looks like. There's, this, there's a triangle, an impossible triangle, in which each side is drawn, a certain makes sense, but the, all three sides don't, uh, don't add up. This thing can't exist in three dimensions. It goes forward where, where it should go back, and it goes back where it should go forward. It doesn't all tie up. But at the same time, it is there, and in order to make sense of it, your, your, your eye has to go round. And in fact, we don't exactly make sense of it. We just say, this is there. Now, this is a thing... I can only uh, comprehend by realizing it is, uh, it is both there uh, and, as it were, no, not there at the same time. It's something I have to be in a moving relationship with. I have to be moving, looking. At. And so this, I thought, um, was an extraordinary symbol of uh, the kind of, the kind of st 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 state of mind that I was trying to show my character's hell and also of the style I was trying to write in, so that my readers uh, would not feel they were being told something. They weren't being sort of informed. I wasn't sort of preaching at them. God knows, I hope not. But um, I was trying to write in a style in which their minds would um, have to be in, in movement what is, with what I was saying, and be in some sort of sympathetic movement what I was saying. And so they would say, as I see, as I see, then well, I'm not quite sure, I see that, then I'm not, then I see that. They wouldn't exactly be able to pin down what it was they saw, just as I wouldn't be able to pin down what it was that I was seeing. I, my characters weren't pinning down what they were on about. Right. But there, there was something lively, there was this sort of liveliness in, 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 in an impossible object, which is what uh, I felt I was trying to say, uh, say, uh, say about life. I mean, the, you know, now one's... Um, relationships uh, with the people one loves, one children or something, it's, it's, it, it's uh, there and it's not there. The love's there, then something else is there. Then there being this, there being that. You always have to be in movement, you have to be flexible with them. And uh, what is liveliness is this struggle to keep things up in the air, to, um, uh, to see the, Im see the Im impossible and thereby ma make it possible. And this is a feeling of great w w wonder, and so which moves moves sort of out of the personal grab for love, wanting to hold it, wanting to possess it, and it really it really becomes a trust much more. It's just a trust that, mm -hmm. okay, if you love, okay, you you actually don't have to grab. You're 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 no longer in a in a predicament of trying to juggle between grabbing and saying, okay, be free. You say, okay. I trust it. I trust. Okay, sometimes I'll have it. Sometimes I won't. Sometimes I won't. Sometimes I won't. You actually trust the Im Im impossible triangle, and there, and then you realise that everything is an impossible triangle, and then then you get this sort of vision of the world, all uh, everything being juggled up in the air, and you um, this is marvellous. This is a very good feeling, and, and uh, that's love. Then you love. You love. And then you feel tired and exhausted, and you think, oh, hell. <laughs> and you, you think, you know, well, 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 what am I on about? Sure, you, one, one does all that. But you, you have some trust established at the centre. At the centre, what has been uh, established is some trust with this way of looking at things. However ill one sometimes feels, or low, or thinking everyone, everyone, everyone's being horrible to one, or whatever, you know, so what? Mosley's ability to convey the abstract and the ineffable using an intense, evocative style was highly praised by critics in North America as well as in Great Britain. In The New Yorker, George Steiner described Impossible Object as beautifully wrought in a style which exactly captured the enigmatic qualities of love. He also used the words lyrical and cinematic, and a few years later, Mosley's work did catch the attention of filmmakers. In Accident, the director Joseph Losey used Harold Pinter's adaptation of the novel and it was a great success. You were driving, weren't you? 
except that Pinter did not share Mosley's optimism, and in the film there is a scene of exploitation between Stephen, the philosophy don played by Dirk Bogard, and his student played by Jacqueline Sassard, that contradicts Mosley's central positive theme. The novel is about Stephen's moral awareness and his battle for his better nature. Has she made advances to you? Oh, no. I'm too old. You're not too old for me. I know that. I can't. Who's going to start? Me. She can't read. And I'm not too old for you. Rosalind put her cheek on my shoulder. We folded our wings inwards. Uh, Clarissa, whom I was still carrying, put her head against ours. We were three circles touching. Then Alexander, from where he clung to Rosalind's skirt, had to be lifted, heaved onto this tripod of emotions, into our arms, our joint arms, so that we would be together in the air like acrobats, a moment, a festoon. This thing that made life worth living, feet, legs, thighs, earth, sex. I thought, we will make love tonight. Then I remember the child, t tender as pain, Rosalind hard with tree and muscle, this pyramid of living things straining upwards, holding it in our hands, trembling. In 1973, Losey used a screenplay written by Mosley for a necessarily rather dark film called The Assassination of Trotsky. Then two years later, Mosley and the director, John Frankenheimer, began to make a more hopeful film based on Impossible Object more hopeful in its attempt to rise above the melodramas of typical love triangles. People like an unhappy ending. Makes them feel good. I don't. God, Harry, I never know what's true and what isn't with you. This is true. Is it? Look, if we went off together now, We'd split up within a year. I don't believe that. I know you don't. You can't just grab love and squeeze it or you destroy it. The only way I know to make love last is for us to be both together and apart. This keeps it alive. The other doesn't. So all poets know that. So does everyone else. Only they won't admit it. I'm not a poet. Of course you are. But you don't know it. <laughs>